All right, guys, welcome back. You know exactly where I'm at if you've been around the channel before. I'm out at my sawmill, and inevitably, if you cut wood like I do, you're going to have some sawdust and some lumber, but you're also going to have some of that stuff. You're going to have some waste. Now, in one of my previous videos, you would have seen me cut up the wood uh, in my off-cut rack or slab rack and uh, more or less just let it fall on the ground. And you guys can see what the result of that is. You got big piles of this waste wood sort of underneath ice and snow. I'm not gonna do that today, that is not very efficient. So I'm gonna show you what I intended to do, but I just didn't have an IBC cage for at the time. What I intended to do and what I will do today is to cut all this slab wood up, all the off cuts from my sawmill and throw it into an IBC cage. And this thing right here is the star of the show. These things are very, very useful, especially around here where I've got all kinds of, well, I got all kinds of scrap wood and firewood and who knows, I could throw just about anything in here. So these are very useful. I finally got one that's empty to get it out here today. Brought it out here with my coyote. And uh, one thing you're going to notice with my coyote, I don't know if you can see it, but there's no, see back there? There's no snow blower on there. Boom. That's the beautiful thing. I've been waiting for this day for quite a while. No offense to that snow blower company because it's a solid unit for blowing snow, but it is not exactly the most narrow thing or the most, uh, well, the most short thing, it's kind of cumbersome to drive around with amongst trees. So getting that off there is definitely a good thing for me for driving. It's also a good thing because it's a sign of the times. Spring is coming. Anyways, back to the show. We're going to get this cut here today. We're going to get it thrown in there today. This is a really good opportunity to do this today because it's a little below zero. I'm having a pretty rough day. Today has just not been going my way. Things have been breaking. Things have been getting stuck. And well, I'll tell you about all that later. So Getting out here and firing up the chainsaw and really letting it have it is definitely a good stress relief. So that's what we're doing. Anyways, guys, glad you're all here. Let's uh, let's stop talking. Let's fire this up. And uh, yeah, we'll see if we can make some dust and make some firewood pieces. Here we go. Forget the sludge.
Well guys, that took under 10 minutes for me to get half the stack cut. Now, I don't have a long enough bar to cut all the way through the stack in one pass. I think that's ideal and maybe down the road I'll get a longer bar for that new Hulls Forma 660 of mine. But for now, I've got my Husky 555 with a 20 inch bar, so I'm only going through about halfway. I'm gonna go around to the other side to finish cutting, but before I do that, I'm gonna take care of these loose pieces, throw them into the IBC cage, because if I don't, I don't want those things to become projectiles if they hit the bar when I'm cutting from the other side. Anyways, let's get these fired into the IBC cage and then we'll head on to the other side. And probably in, I'm thinking 30 minutes, I'll get this whole thing cleaned up. Not too bad. All right, guys, well, I would say that IBC cage is full and then some. So as you guys can see, this is all softwood. It's all loose stacked in there to allow it to dry nicely. I definitely don't have any more room in here. So I filled up about three quarters of the rack into that IBC cage. That's the last little bit there. What I'll do is I will get another IBC cage out here, hopefully sooner than later. Instead of throwing that on the ground and then having to pick it up again and throw it into the new IBC cage, I'll just leave it cut right there. Next time around, I'll just hand bomb it in there. This stuff you see on the ground, which is sort of poking its head out from under the snow. This is what happens when you cut that and you don't have anywhere to put it. It just ends up on the ground and then under the snow and ice. And well, now I'm going to have to wait for it to melt and then hand bomb that stuff into an IBC cage. So 
One thing is for certain, I need to get that out of the way so I can get the next IBC cage in here. Probably won't be getting the new one today, but regardless, I'm going to go load that up, that IBC cage over there with my tractor. And I don't think it'll have a problem lifting this. I don't know how heavy this is, obviously, but uh, it's all softwood, so some frozen, some not. IBC cage uh, shouldn't be a problem, especially with loaded tires in this tractor. We'll find out. Anyways, if you guys have a sawmill, you definitely got to have a way to deal with the waste. Now, when I say waste, don't think I'm just going to burn this for the sake of burning this. I'm going to use this for heating. So dealing with the waste, maybe you give it away or maybe someone will buy it off you or maybe you chip it. Regardless, you got to find a place for this waste because as you can tell, it is piling up and I haven't cut too, too many logs compared to some of you guys out there. Anyways, let's get this loaded up over there and then we'll call her good for today. Here we go. Guys, the tractor certainly earned its keep here once again and don't laugh at my forklift driving skills I'm no professional but I get the job done as you can see I tend to move a little bit slower rather than faster because when something breaks or I damage it well the bill comes back to me if you guys have a look here we got four IBC cages full of firewood I'm gonna use that for heating but we'll talk about that another time sooner rather than later I'm gonna get a fifth IBC cage out here we're gonna take the wood that's still remaining already cut up loaded into there and get it stacked over my right shoulder with the other four. Now just keep in mind here, this is all waste wood, so if you didn't have a use for it, well, it would be just that, just waste, and it'd get in the way. Having an off-cut rack just like this has turned out to be a very useful thing for me, and especially if you have a portable sawmill, it can turn out to be a very useful thing for you, I'm sure. So guys, that's gonna do it for me here today. Make sure you guys come on back next time. I will surely be back out here at the sawmill, making some dust, lumber, and inevitably, some more waste. Appreciate you guys all being here. Give me the thumbs up if you liked this video. If you didn't, come on back next time. Maybe that'll be more to your liking. In the meantime, you guys all take care, be well, and I'll see you next time.